Hi guys, Mitch here from Coastal Catch and Cook. On today's episode, we're going to do our first cooking segment. So we're going to smoke up some fish, uh, show you how I smoke my fish. Everyone's got a bit of a different method, but uh, there's no wrong or right way, but this is how we do it, and it turns out absolutely amazing. So first thing of all you need is some nice fresh fish. So these are all tuna offcuts from some of our uh, beach tours. Uh, we've been doing really well the last few days. So we've got a great big pile of tuna offcuts. But in there, we've also got some amazing pieces of tuna belly. Now, this has to be the best part of the fish. Unfortunately, most people waste this, but it actually uh, comes out amazing when it's been smoked. So, so what we're going to do with the fish is prepare it. We need to brine the fish for about 10 or 12 hours. Um, I'm going to brine it and leave it overnight, and then we'll come back to you tomorrow morning once that's done, and then we'll show you the uh, smoking process. So... So for the brine, it's quite simple. It's just brown sugar and table salt. Um, the most important part is just getting the ratio right. So I, um, I prefer to weigh out the mixes rather than measure it by cups um, because salt is a lot heavier than sugar. So, so it's basically three quarters sugar to a quarter of salt. Uh, some people will say half, half, but if you do that, the fish will come out very, very salty. So definitely prefer to do a lot more sugar than salt. So I've just mixed this through so that it's one even mixture. And we need to make sure that all of these pieces of fish get a really good coating around them of this mixture. So first thing I'll do, I've got quite a large container here because we've got a lot of fish. I'm just gonna layer some sugar and salt in the bottom. Make sure the whole bottom of this container is covered. Got a nice bed of sugar and salt in there. And now from here, we can start to lay in our fish portions. Now you don't want to overlap the fish at all because the fish needs to be completely encased in this mixture for the brine to work properly. So we're going to have to do probably two or three layers of sugar, salt and fish. I'm just making sure I leave small gaps in between the fish too so that we can put mixture in between it all. Can be a bit of a game of Tetris trying to fit all this in, but. Alrighty. That's probably enough for our first layer. So we're going to tip in a decent amount of this brine mix. Hopefully we've got enough, but it should be perfect. Now we want to mix all this around, coat this fish now. Ideally try not to leave any gaps or uncoated surfaces of the fish. Might add a little bit more in there now. There we go. Now we can chuck another layer of the fish back on there. It's a bit involved with the smoking and the brining process, so I prefer to do it in bigger batches. It's no extra effort to smoke a great pile of fish like this as opposed to just a few pieces, and once you do smoke it, it's gonna last a long time, so there'll be no waste. All right, have to add a bit more of this mix now. That's the second layer done. You do use quite a lot of sugar and salt. Your best bet is to get a big container like this. Just buy three kilos of sugar and a kilo of salt and you've already got your ratios worked out. Mix it all in together. That's not gonna spoil at all, so you can keep that in the pantry and it's ready to go when you do catch a few fish. We'll just put our last few pieces in now. These beautiful pieces of tuna belly. They're full of fat, so when you smoke them, they don't dry out at all. And they've actually got a completely different flavor to what you'd expect for a tuna. They're just lovely. I'm just gonna push this down and try and flatten it out a bit. We'll tip the rest of our mixture in. I'm 
just try and coat it all as well as we can. So that's all our fish um, covered in the brine mix. I'm just going to chuck a lid on it. Now this will just go straight in the fridge overnight. Um, in the morning this sugar and salt will turn into a thick brown liquid, which is just all of the moisture getting pulled out of the fish. Um, and then we'll uh, carry on to the smoking part of it. So we'll see you in the morning guys. So we've left our fish overnight for about 12 hours and the dry brine has now turned into a thick brown liquid which is completely normal. I know it doesn't look the nicest but once we wash this off and uh, get it ready for the smoker it's going to make it taste amazing. So now we need to rinse off the fish. We're going to put um, straight onto a couple of cake racks, just allow it to drip dry for a little while and then we'll get the fish onto the um, smoking trays and straight into the smoker soon. So all you need to do, just with cold tap water, just grab your pieces of fish. Now they're still gonna have chunks of sugar and salt on there, so we're gonna wash all that off. Just spread them out onto these trays. You can see how, um, how rich this fish is, Some beautiful colors in it. So the sugar and salt is going to um, cure the fish, so it's going to have a really long shelf life now once it's smoked. Uh, and it also gives it a really nice flavour. By pulling the moisture out of the fish, you sort of might think it's going to make the fish go dry, but what actually happens is when we put it in the smoker, we use a water bowl and the, um, the fish will then reabsorb some moisture as the uh, water bowl evaporates. And while it's absorbing that moisture, it's also sucking in more of the smoke flavour. So it's pretty important if you um, try and smoke fish without brining it, it just doesn't turn out anywhere near as good. And beautiful pieces of belly meat. Very similar colour to um, Atlantic salmon. And I reckon it's just as good too. Got quite a few pieces here to wash down, so... I'll get all these washed and fill these trays up and then we'll get ready to um, put them on the smoking trays. These are the trays we're going to put the fish on um, to go into the smoker. Just make sure you do oil them up before you put the fish on, otherwise they can stick to it, um, can make the meat fall apart later on when we pull it out. So we'll get the fish on these and then we'll head down to the smoker and get it ready. Alright, so we've just come down to the smoker now. Uh, the fish is all ready to go. Just letting the smoker heat up. So uh, we've got our Hark gas smoker here. This thing's seen a lot of use. It's a few years old now, but it's still going, which is good. So we've got a water bowl in here. So that water bowl in there will stop the fish drying out, but the fish is also going to soak up that moisture and soak up extra smoke flavour. We've got our smoke box, which I haven't put anything in yet because we don't have our fish in the smoker yet, but we've also got a drip tray here. So these are a four tray smoker, but I prefer to leave the uh, bottom tray with a bit of foil on it. Um, that just saves a lot of clean up time. Uh, and three trays is plenty for a, a decent sized batch of fish. So anyway, the fish is ready to go in. So what we'll do now is we'll get all these into the smoker and, and then we'll close this door and let it heat up.
So the fish is in the smoker now. It's just going to take probably five minutes to get up to full temperature. Um, so I go full temperature on the fish. I prefer to cook it hot and quick. Now, a bit of a talking point. Uh, what flavour wood chip to use for your fish? Um, all I can say is keep it very simple. Um, try and go for something that's a bit more mild. Um, so try and avoid your, your hickories and that sort of thing if you're new to it. Um, but it, it's up to personal choice really. Everyone's got different tastes. Um, so I'm using pecan today, which is quite a mild flavour. Um, you see on the packet there, it's pretty much recommended for everything. Fish, chicken, pork, lamb, beef. Um, so I use this for most of my smoking. Another really good one is peach, um, which I've run out of, but yeah, peach or pecan sort of my preferred. Now you don't need to wet your wood chips unless you're chucking it straight onto a charcoal smoker. So for the gas smoker, we just throw them straight into the smoke box dry. So, so let's open up the bottom of the smoker now and we'll uh, get some wood chips into the smoke box. It's gonna be very hot, so watch your fingers. I just get a, a good handful, chuck them straight in there. That'll only take a couple of minutes and you'll see the smoke pouring out of the smoker. So the smoke's died right back now. Um, it's been 10 minutes since we put those wood chips in. So I've got another handful ready to go. So we'll top the smoke box back up and we'll keep this smoke going through the fish. So I don't go by cooking time with my smoked fish. Um, I put in three lots of wood chips and on the third lot, uh, I turn it off once the smoke dies down. So it's nearly finished now. We'll just wait until this smoke dies right down um, and then the fish will be done. So we'll just turn the smoker off at that point. Um, let it rest in the smoker for about 15 minutes. Let it cool down slightly. Uh, then the fish is all done and ready to go back into the fridge to cool off. So almost there, can't wait, should be good. Alright guys, so the moment of truth. That's what we're talking about. Beautiful. All that fish looks like it's cooked perfectly, so... All we have to do now is um, get it into the fridge and let it cool off. And then we can bag it up into small packets and share it around. Plenty of food here, looks great. But, one very important thing, I'm gonna give it a taste tester. Oh wow, amazing. I reckon you can't beat a bit of smoked fish straight out of the smoker while it's still warm. You can see how moist and juicy that is. That's the beauty of using the belly meat too of the tuna, it just doesn't really dry out. Give this a bit of a taste. Looks amazing. Thumbs up from me. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. That's how I smoke my fish, um, in particular tuna fillets and offcuts. Plenty of good eating here, that's for sure. Oh, gotta have another bit of that, that's just too good. Just amazing. <laughs>